Okay, what we're going to do here is we're doing on the Zeni Think Z180, ZT180, the, the older one with the 256 megabytes. Uh, what we're running here is a customized version of 2.2 Android because the original Android that came on the ZeniThink is very slow. As you see, this is the blue light special, just like at the diner. No, I'm kidding. Well, this is from start to finish, and obviously we're at about 40 seconds right now on the load up. But this new customized ROM is very much fast compared to the other one due to the limited nature of the 256 megabytes of memory for the RAM. Uh, the processor is very fast. It's got the 1 gigahertz processor, but that doesn't help out if you don't have the memory. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it loads up very quickly, and as you can see, it, it has the new Google Play installed on it. That was an automatic update. Um, browser loads. Um, I use the ES Task Manager, as you can see, to speed up and free up a little bit more memory. It's actually installed on the custom ROM itself, okay, and it is very quick. It actually is quick enough to stream my volcano, my volcano um, from my lava player, so I can actually watch live live TV from my cable box over the internet. Okay, I'm going to load that up really quick to show you. And as you can see, it loads up actually in a 720p set of the cable box. So I'm actually watching live History Channel right now. And it actually, the remote loads up, so you can actually turn the channel, you can hide, you can do that all remotely, obviously this ain't on the, uh, the Volcano Player, which is awesome, DVR, where you can transfer that to and save stuff, okay, so as you can see, it's live, and it's, uh, H it's HD quality, Washington, DC. and on Android 2.2, that's not too bad at all. Actually, the the video I can do my my monitoring of my cameras and everything live from the front area of the house. It works flawlessly. So with the Swan Viewer, okay. Uh, Internet browser works, the iHeartRadio works, you can do the YouTube videos, you can play movies with the Google Play movies, and you're never bet you never guess that um, one of these ZT one eighties you can pick up for less than a hundred bucks on the internet. You can get a, get one from eBay for about sixty, seventy bucks, or you can get a brand new one actually with the the five twelve memory for right around a hundred bucks. So, I mean, uh, that's pretty good. You can take it, and um, it's pretty equivalent to the iPad compared to 100 bucks to a minimum of $500 for, you know, the new iPad 3 going all the way up in $700. And it runs Wi-Fi, and there you go. Thank you, the ZT180.